à tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité top. Allumage Vulcain. Allumage des EAP, décollage. Les paramètres à bord sont normaux. And there she blows, hauling herself against the gravity of the Earth, nearly 800 tons, roughly the weight of two jumbo jets. After the initial six-second vertical climb, we rotated to the east, and we're now heading out over the Atlantic Ocean. And we can hear her flying over now in our commentary box. We're burning three engines, two on the boosters, one on the main stage. Of course, the boosters are doing all the work here. Their job is to get us away from the Earth, even though we ignited all three of those engines on the ground. We need an awful lot of firepower to push us against the gravity of the Earth. So those boosters are providing 90% of the thrust right now. That's roughly the equivalent of 12 jumbo jets. They're going to burn for a couple of minutes. Each booster burns two tons of propellant. So to give you a rough idea, if you would fill your car with petrol weekly, you'd uh, be burning about one and a half years' worth of petrol in one second. Now, Thomas, um, before launch, all eyes were on the status panels screen, and now we're actually looking at another screen. Um, we call it the trajectory. Oh, on the left-hand side, you can see the curve yep. on the top. Actually, on the left part of your screen, uh, for our reviewers, there is a line which is the computed sim uh, trajectory of the launch vehicle, and there is a, the, a white dot moving on the curve. That's the actual position of the launch vehicle, and this ticks perfectly to the provision of the flight. And we can see here the separation of the boosters. Beautiful images, those two dots falling back to Earth. They've burnt their fuel. We don't need them anymore, so they're falling back down to Earth. So we're losing weight, Thomas. Yes, we have lost about two-thirds of our weight in just two minutes of flight. And you know, the lighter we are, the faster we go. That's the basic rule in space science. Absolutely. And uh, we're looking here at the fairing, the top of the vehicle. It's uh, protecting the two satellites from the rigors of the launch. The satellites are inside it. What kind of rigors are we talking about?